The Prime Minister calling on Bahamians to access help to alleviate the country's social ills. Good evening, everyone. I'm Charisma Robinson. I'm Keish Latterly. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Topping the news, Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie today spoke about some of the complex issues facing the country's young people, especially issues like teen pregnancy and the ability to have a second chance. Clint Watson tells us that his sentiments are also shared by his past deputy, who is now co-chair of the Urban Renewal Commission. Prime Minister the Honourable Perry Christie acknowledging that a national intervention is needed to address the social ills affecting young people in our society. The nation's leader singled out teenage mothers who oftentimes feel hopeless that they don't have a second chance of achieving their dreams. There are now many, many, many young mothers and young now can be defined as much younger than one would ordinarily expect. And that many of them quite naturally are unprepared for the birth of their children. Co-chair of the Urban Renewal Commission, Cynthia Mother Pratt, is concerned with the direction in which the country is headed when it comes to social ills. Referring to the recent ordeal where a newborn baby was found abandoned in bushes, the former Deputy Prime Minister says the truth is these kinds of issues and circumstances are real. Not all of us are strong alike. Um, we, we're so used to having everything at our fingertips and we find out later that it's not there. Some people can't cope with it. Others just pull up their bootstraps and just move forward in spite of what challenges have met. I believe that this is a time when, if we don't realize it, we need God more than ever before. Mother Pratt says many people are living without God, and in her view, things won't change until Bahamians return to that foundation. The Bible says the nation that forgets God will all be turned into hell. We're seeing hell right here on earth. And that's because we have forgotten God. Our young people today, even though we have had setbacks when we were younger, but we never thought about things like what they're thinking about today. Why? Because the fear of God was in us, in spite of what mistakes we made. And I think that is the difference. Mrs. Pratt says when children are raised with a biblical foundation, we will see things change. She says parents must take responsibility for effectively rearing their children. Prime Minister Christie, who was participating in a courtesy call with the new Grandparents Association called Grandier, revealed that he had the occasion to speak with second chance young people now able to study at the College of the Bahamas. He says it's important for the Bahamas to ensure that youth who have made mistakes have the opportunity to change and access education. I spoke about the redemptive power of second chance. Many of our young people have gifts but because of some, something that went wrong in their lives, right. they're going to need to have another chance. I've spoken about young women who um, have extraordinary BGCSE results, but they got pregnant, mm -hmm. and they can't go on to the College of the Bahamas because they have to go to work to support their child. Mm -hmm. And I was saying to people that somehow the country must find a way to rescue young people like that who have talents to be anything. And so Prime Minister Christie says they will do what they must around the boardrooms of government to ensure that the proper legislation and policies are put in place to benefit Bahamians, in particular, the youth of our country. Clint Watson, ZNS Network News.